Hello. In this short video, we're going to learn how to write a short program to calculate a summation. We will consider the following very simple summation, the sum of the first n natural numbers. If this sum is computed with n equals 1, it is 1. If it is computed with n equals 2, it is 1 plus 2, i.e. 3. If it is computed with n equals 3, it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 i.e. 6. Easy. The code we would use to calculate this sum for n equals 5 is shown here. Let's work through how this short program works. We start by setting a variable called sssum equal to 0 here. This initial initialization is followed by a for loop so, the instruction that is highlighted here is going to be repeated five times. Let's consider what happens during each of those five iterations. During the first iteration, i is equal to zero, and we change the value of SS sum. Notice that ss sum appears on the right hand side of this expression for setting the variable and thus we have to use the initial value that we set here uh, when computing the expression. During the first loop ss sum equals 0 and i equals 0 so we are thus doing 0 plus 0 and setting ss sum equal to 0. We then go back to the start of the loop in the second pass through the loop, i equals 1. And we thus set ss sum equal to ss sum, which is 0, and we add to that i, which is 1, and thus get 1. On the third pass through the loop, we have i equals 2. We thus set ss sum equal to the current value of ss sum which is 1, and we add i to that, which is 2, so ss sum is thus equal to 3 once we have passed through the loop three times. On the fourth pass through the loop, we have i equals 3. We thus set ss sum equal to, the current va to its current value, which is 3, and we add to that i, which is also 3. So by the end of this pass through the loop, the value of ss sum is 6. In the final pass through the loop, we have i equals 4. We thus set ss sum equal to its current value of 6. We add to that i, which is 4. So at the very end of the code, when we print the final value of ss sum, we find that it is equal to 10. This short piece of code is very useful. We can use similar codes to compute many of the summations that you will have encountered in other courses. We can also use a similar code to calculate the sum of the elements in an array, as shown here. Notice that the number of times we need to pass through the loop here is equal to the number of the elements in the array called MyList. Further note that the loop variable is used in this code to refer to the element of the array that is being added to ss sum. To make this second code here equivalent to the code at the top of the page, we would set up the elements of my list as shown here. One nice feature of completing this sort of code with arrays rather than um, by doing it explicitly, as we've done at the top of the slide, is that you do not need to write all this code. You can instead use the sum command to calculate the sum of all of the elements in the array called MyList, as shown here. And that's all there is to it. You should now be able to compute summations with Python to your heart's content. Thanks for your attention.